You decided to replace the water pump on your washer. It's not too hard of a job. You need a few tools, a good pair of slip joint pliers, flat blade screwdriver, and a putty knife. In a little bit of time, we should be able to show you how easy this is to do. Okay, before we get started in changing the water pump on your washer, we need to do a couple things. First of all, disconnect the appliance from the power supply. It's also a good idea to disconnect the fill hoses and the drain hose because the best way to do this job is with the appliance either tilted back or laying directly on its back on the floor. You want to have a container handy because you're going to have some water left in that drain hose that we need to get rid of. First thing we need to do is tilt the console back so that we can disconnect the cabinet support clips. On the outer edges of our console, there's some spring clips at the front that we would slide a putty knife in underneath the console, engage that spring, and tilt the console up. We'll take caution on this side where you place your putty knife. You want to keep it right out at the edge because there is a lid switch there that we don't want to damage. Some models may have a couple of screws in the back corners that need to be released and the console will tilt forward on those models. The console will support itself. Now we can disconnect the lid switch and the support clips that hold the cabinet to the back. Take a flat blade screwdriver, slide it down into the channel of the clip, tilt back with the screwdriver and out. The clip will come out. Now we're ready to remove the cabinet from the machine. Lift the lid. Standing in front of the machine, we're going to lift up. Now we've got the washer where we need to have it to get access to our water pump. Should use two people for this job, we're going to want to lay the machine on its back so that we can access the pump properly. Before we lay the washer on its back, we'll tilt the console back into position, support the back panel, tilt the washer backwards. Gently lower it to the floor. Now we have access to our pump. Before we begin this repair, I mentioned earlier about some sharp edges around here. The splash plate above the pump does have a few sharp edges on it. When you're going to be working in this area, perhaps the best thing to do is to put a little bit of duct tape across that. Just so we don't cut ourselves while we're working in this area. Now we'll take our channel lock pliers, remove these hose clamps, it's best to have a container handy at this point just in case there's any water in these hoses. There may or may not be. Now with our flat blade screwdriver pry up on these pump retaining clips. You just turn those 90 degrees and they will lift out of there. And now our pump is ready to lift off of the motor shaft. Notice a D-shaped shaft on the motor that mates with the pump. Before we position the pump onto the motor, make sure that that shaft is lined up. And that the four legs of the pump set into the little receptacles on the motor. Check our clips. Rotate them and then just snap them into place. Reconnect our hoses. Making 
sure that they go fully onto the pump to the stop blocks. Take our channel lock pliers. Place the clamps. And you can remove your protective tape at this point. The washer is ready to stand back on its legs. When reinstalling the cabinet, we need to make sure that we engage two tabs on either side of the base frame with the elongated holes in the bottom of the cabinet, one located in the front and rear on both sides. Holding the lid in one hand, with your other hand grab the inside of the cabinet in the tub opening, tilt it back towards you, and line it up with the frame. and line up the tabs on the frame. Now we're ready to secure the back to the cabinet with the retaining clips. We'll take the elongated portion, slide it into the opening on the back of the cabinet, pull it forward into the opening in the cabinet, and press it down into place. Now that it's firmly in place, we can reconnect our lid switch harness. Make sure it locks in place. Now it's a matter of reinstalling our console. Locate the rear tabs in the cabinet, line up the springs. Snap it into place.